Hello, this is your friend Mauricio Perez. We are celebrating the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and I would like to focus on a specific word that appears in the pericope we read this time in the Gospel according to Matthew. It is the parable of the nuptial banquet. And we see that in the wedding banquet, there is somebody who comes to the banquet, but he is not wearing his wedding garment. And for that reason, he is expelled from the celebration. When the king who is throwing the banquet notices him, he approaches him and he talks to him. And the way he addresses him is interesting. He calls him friend. He says, my friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? Well, this word is interesting because it is a word that appears only three times in the gospel according to Matthew. When we read the original of the gospel in Greek, we find this word, heteros. And actually, in the gospel according to Matthew, we see it in the vocative case, etere, which means friend. So this is the verse, actually. It is Matthew 22, 12. And he said to him, my friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence, my friend. There are two more times, I said, in which this word is used. Before we find this word in the parable of the laborers of the vineyard. Remember that some of them were recruited early in the morning and they spent all day working. And then through the day, the owner of the vineyard kept hiring more laborers. And by the end of the day, he paid exactly the same amount to those who had started working at the end of the day than to those who began working since the beginning of the day. And one of them comes to the owner of the vineyard and complains and here is his response in Matthew 20, 13. He said to one of them in reply, my friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? So we can see how on these two verses, this expression etere is used to address somebody who is not going to have the best of the consequences. First, in the case of the laborer of the vineyard, well, he is going to receive something that he considers unfair, even though it is not. But yeah, he doesn't receive it in the best possible way, because even though he was the first to begin working, he was actually the last to be paid. Whereas the last who began to work was the first to be paid. And that's what Jesus wanted. He wanted the owner of the vineyard to make that point. And that's why the teaching behind that parable is that the first will be the last and the last will be the first. So... This laborer who comes to complain, in the end, is going to have a bad consequence. He started in since the beginning, and then he's going to be paid the last. And remember, that is a criticism of Jesus against the Pharisees and against the scribes and against the elders. They believe they were so close to God. But in the end, to the eyes of Jesus, they are the last. In the case of the man who comes to the wedding banquet without wearing a wedding garment, it is the same. He was already in the banquet. He was already in the banquet. And then he's thrown out. The consequence is not going to be the best. And he was so close that he was already inside the banquet. He was already taking part of that banquet, but he was not ready. So he is thrown out. There is one third time in which this word, eteros or etere, is used in the gospel according to Matthew. And you will be surprised. Because it is on chapter 26, 2650. And that is when Judas comes to Gethsemane with the soldiers who are going to arrest Jesus. Judas approaches Jesus. He greets him. Hi, the rabbi. And after he kisses Jesus, Jesus answered him, Friend, do what you have come for. Etere, efopari. Once again, the one who is referred as friend is not going to enjoy the best of the consequences. In the case of Judas, Jesus had said that the one who would betray him, it would have been better if he wasn't even born. We even see how these three men are suffering negative consequences that go in crescendo. Because in the case of the laborer of the vineyard, at least he is going to be paid, only that he is going to be paid the last. 
he has to endure a full day of work and then he has to wait to be paid the last. At least he was paid. Then in the case of the man who goes to the wedding banquet without wearing the wedding garment, the consequence is going to be worse because he's going to be thrown out of the banquet. But in the case of Judas, that is the worst of the negative consequences. He will ultimately kill himself. And to the eyes of Jesus, it would have been better if he was not born because he betrayed him. Yet, to all these men, Jesus refers to them as a friend. He actually calls them friend, etere. Regardless of the selfishness, regardless of the lack of readiness to partake on the banquet, regardless of the ultimate of the betrayals, he's still merciful, he's still compassionate, he's still loving, he's still caring, and he still calls them etere, friend. I believe this is an interesting piece of information, and perhaps by learning this subtle detail, you get interested in reading and learning more about sacred scripture. There is so much to read behind the words of every verse, of every chapter, of every book in scripture. So we have to keep reading and we have to keep studying. Till next time, be passionate about our faith.